Hi, uh, in this tutorial, uh, we are going to reclassify the uh, training points uh, into two broad classes, that is uh, forest and uh, non-forest. So first, we are going to load uh, the training file uh, that we we created in uh, Google Earth Engine. Okay, so let's get the shape file. So this is the shape file. As MJ the heights too. Okay. And uh, let's just add a Google Satellite. Okay, I'll move this to the top. Right, so these are the training points. Right, so next uh, let's uh, open uh, the attribute table. Okay, so this attribute table uh, is showing uh, the relative height and uh, this class that I've uh, already created so i'll just hide it so that you don't you don't need this one so these are the relative height at the uh, rh uh, relative height matrix 98 from uh, jedi 2a data right so we want to reclassify these heights into uh, two broad classes that is forest and uh, non-forest right so what we do is uh, we use a, uh, a code that I've already prepared here. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this code and then go back to my attribute table. Right, and then I'm going to come uh, to open field calculator. Right, and then here I'm going to uh, write a uh, uh, class classes okay and then i'm just going to uh, paste this uh, code so what this code says uh, so all the areas or all the points that are between 0 and uh, 5 are going to be non-forest. So I'm going to call them as 0. Remember in Google Earth Engine, you just use uh, the integer numbers for classification. So 0 is going to represent non-forest. So all the points that are between 0 and uh, 5 meters, they are going to be non-forest. All the other points are going to be 1. So that means that uh, the training points with heights above 5 meters are going to be 1, which is the forest area. Right, if I click this one, I have my classes. And then I just click uh, uh, Save. And then that's it. Right, uh, we can just quickly check uh, these classes. Let's go to classes, classify. So this is our classes. Zeros uh, represents uh, the non-forest and one, uh, the forest area. So please, you need to take time here uh, to check uh, if this is uh, correct. So this takes a lot of time. Uh, this way you need to do uh, the checking. It's better. Uh, if we can use uh, an independent team that can do the uh, checking. Uh, if you see some areas where there's some discrepancies, you need to remove the, the points. Okay, so here I've uh, done a bit of checking, so everything looks uh, okay. So this is uh, quite uh, simple and uh, straightforward. You can further reclassify the points uh, if we have uh, more categories that you want to include. For example, you can uh, classify into uh, woodlands, which are between 5 and 15 meters. And then we have uh, uh, the rainforest, maybe, which are above 15 meters and so forth. So uh, this is just uh, to make it uh, simple. Right, uh, so after this, 
uh, you are going to uh, import this uh, file uh, into Earth Engine and then you use it for classification. So thank you very much uh, for watching this uh, uh, tutorial. I uh, see you in the next uh, uh, tutorial.